Hey, what's going on there, folks? Good morning, good afternoon. It is the Earth Master back here on this uh, end of the weekend, Sunday, October 29th, a couple days till Halloween. It is uh, about 12.07 p.m. here at California time on this fine Sunday. Uh, latest activity here on the Earthquake 3D Globe shows a 1.8 and also a 4.5. Just seen that popping up here into the South America region. So looking at the last 24 hours there on the globe, did see some activity out here in the northern Atlantic out into the divergent boundaries. We'll take a look at that here in just a little bit. Uh, bringing up space weather activity. Well, this is the current latest uh, magnetogram image here of the sunspots and their magnetic structures here within the cores that they harbor. And uh, there's just not a whole lot continuing to go on here uh, across this visible disk of the sun. One little region here that we're kind of watching, showing a little bit of growth overnight. We'll continue to watch that maybe for some sea flare activity. Uh, but for the most part, things are uh, still remaining fairly calm. Uh, Kevin's got a 60% chance for a sea flare here, here on this site. 15% chance for an M flare. An X flare around 1% chance or so. Uh, again, we did see some sea flare activity overnight from, uh, uh, I believe, that active region down south. But we'll continue to watch that. As far as the uh, aurora potential goes, well, over the next couple nights, we are forecasting, uh, looks like maybe a G1 class storm. Nothing significant uh, unless we get some major uh, uh, tilting there in the BZBT component. Uh, but for now, it looks like maybe some auroras here over the next couple nights, including Halloween night there. We'll continue to watch that. Current aurora uh, oval right here on the globe shows a little bit of... Uh, uh, not much, but a little bit of aurora probability there on the dark side of the earth here for the folks that are sleeping on the opposite side of the world from where I am anyway. All right, uh, let's see what we got for earthquake activity. We'll go ahead and pull up the latest information here from USGS. There is some of that activity out here in the northern mid-Atlantic Ridge, 5.1 divergent boundary zone out here. That coming in about 7 o'clock this morning or so. As uh, far as any larger scale activity goes, let's go ahead and see what we got for the largest magnitude. There's that 6.0 from yesterday in the Vanuatu area. That came in late last night, actually, here, about 79 kilometers deep. As uh, far as any recent activity goes here in this area, well, did see a five-pointer earlier this morning, a little bit further down along this plate boundary here, about 35 kilometers deep or so. Uh, New Zealand still sitting down there. But as uh, far as earthquake activity goes, it doesn't look like we're seeing too much movement uh, across the New Zealand area for now. Let's go ahead and pull up the latest information here from GeoNet. Stand by for a second while we get this keyed up. Not a whole lot to report. Two days ago was the 3.2. Uh, all other earthquakes, I'm sure, are under that magnitude. As uh, far as the earthquake drums go here across New Zealand, North Island, a little bit of activity here from last night. But um, let's see what we got. A couple spikes of an earthquake South Island area. Generally small, very small microquake activity, which is common out here across any major plate boundary. So, But for the most part, New Zealand uh, remaining somewhat quiet there. The big island of Hawaii, Kilauea Volcano, still watching this kick up. Uh, really no major change here. Still seeing some earthquake activity here south of the summit area. Down there about... Uh, Oh, between one to three kilometers deep here. Got some magma brewing underneath this area, building up. The question is, how much uh, buildup is it going to take before we see this thing uh, find its way to the surface as far as the magma goes? Current information statement here from the USGS with uh, respect to Kilauea Volcano. It is not erupting, uh, but the unrest continues there south of the summit area. No unusual changes uh, across the rift zones for now. As uh, far as, uh, you know, just kind of waiting. Uh, there is currently no sign of an imminent eruption and increasing inflation and earthquake activity are expected to proceed in eruption. Um, during periods of heightened unrest prior to recent eruption, signs of imminent eruption did not appear until one to two hours before lava reached the surface. But obviously we know... Uh, you know, there's stuff building up, right? That's what's creating the inflation and also the earthquake activity there across the uh, region just south of the summit. That's obviously magma 
um, intrusion underneath this area. The question is, is it just going to sit down there or are we going to get a further influx of magma? Uh, I think what we need to watch here is some further earthquake swarming. Obviously, before an eruption, like they mentioned, there would be uh, a heightened uh, period of probably a couple hours of major increasing earthquake activity uh, with shallower depths there in indicating uh, you know that that magma is indeed uh, rising up to the surface and it's found its way through some new fissures or old fissures out here uh, but also that's prior to the eruption but also I think we need to pay attention to deeper levels here underneath this area that could show uh, a further influx of magma from below uh, so we'll continue to watch that uh, right now. I still think that we may see uh, some fissures open up here south of the typical zone, which has been the lava lake area over the past couple eruptions with those, uh, you know, filling up the, the lake there, the lava lake with, with uh, magma. But we'll continue to watch this area. Uh, as far as the rest of the Big Island goes, minimal movement there across Pahala today. Uh, let's see, Alaska, anything uh, significant going on up here? Doesn't look like it. A handful of earthquakes here across the Aleutian Trench, uh, including a 4.1 earlier this morning, about 87 kilometers deep here into the subduction zone. Uh, far as the west coast, not uh, anything spectacular going on. A handful of microquakes across the area of California. One earthquake down here. On the Brawley Seismic Zone, just after midnight, that's a 2.3. The southern edge, southern end here of the San Andreas Fault uh, continues to be uh, quiet. Yellowstone National Park, nothing showing up there across the map, but let me double check because, uh, well, I just want to make sure. And uh, looks like that may be correct. Not a whole lot going on here uh, in terms of earthquake activity across any of the seismograph stations there at Yellowstone. National Park. Super Volcano. Throw that in there as well because it technically is. All right. Uh, what else we got? Uh, some movement into the Chile area. Looks like the latest one, a 4.4, pretty deep here into the Peru Chile Trench underneath Argentina. 4.4, 226 kilometers. Handful of quakes there today. Uh, looking at the Earthquake 3D Globe. Shows continued cluster here across this area of the uh, Taiwan area, south into the Philippines. Did see some movement here in Australia as well, northern. Uh, I guess that would be considered northern Australia, 3.1 coming in this morning. Uh, so we're continuing to watch this area. It's been somewhat uh, active out here today. I don't know about this 5.5 showing up here off the coast of Spain. Uh, the EMSC model sometimes throws out weird magnitudes for this area and it's always within this region of Spain and I'm not for sure why but that's probably not going to be a 5.5 a in that area we can double check that real quick from the EMSC model and see what they're stating uh, for whatever reason the earthquake 3d globe does not adjust the magnitude change it may have originally came as came in as a 5.5 but um, I, I don't think so it's kind of weird I'm not seeing any uh, larger magnitude there. A little bit further south, a 3.8 Morocco, but uh, no 5 showing up there. So that's just a little thing I have to note. You know, um, I'm not for sure if the uh, developer of this program is going to fix it or not. I don't know whose fault it is, whether it's the receiving end, the Earthquake 3D Globe, or maybe the transmitting end there from the, the uh, government agencies that send out the magnitudes. But uh, just be cautious of what magnitudes state here. In this area around Spain, there is no 5.5, just uh, looks like maybe a 2 or a 3 in that area. Over here across the Atlantic, yes, but for whatever reason, this region right here has um, some issues with the magnitudes. Way up north in the Norwegian Sea area, we did see a 4.4 earthquake. Uh, see, USGS is reporting that as well, but as a 4.1 I turn off my phone here. I hear it beeping in the background. Uh, let's see. Anything else major going on? Looks like another earthquake coming into the uh, Argentina. Is this a new one? It is. Just another new earthquake coming in here. Just up on the USGS map as we speak. Although it's a little old. But still seeing a deeper activity here. Into the subduction zone with that 4.5. 129 kilometers. So watch this area. Could be... Uh, leading to something bigger upstream 
uh, within that area of the Peru Chile Trench. Uh, deeper activity, a little deep one here, 3.8. Looks like uh, into a portion of the Kurokama Chaka Trench not showing up on the USGS map, of course. Uh, but we'll continue to watch this area. Uh, let's see, what else do we have going on here, folks? Uh, Puerto Rico area, we're kind of all over the place today here. That's how I feel, just scattered all over the place. 2.5, the latest one there in the Puerto Rico area. A little bit of movement up north here across the Puerto Rico Trench as well. But overall, looks like a typical day out there across the plate boundaries. Uh, a couple areas to watch, of course, is this area down here, South America, with the deeper earthquake activity. And, uh, you know, there's just been a lot of activity stretching across this plate boundary, which is very typical. I think there might be one region in here that we need to continue to watch. Well, this Vanuatu earthquake filled in yesterday, so this was our quiet zone, but uh, I kind of mentioned that prior to this earthquake, and sure enough, that night we had that six-pointer fill in in this seismic gap. You can kind of look out here and see which areas have and have not moved. New Zealand has not moved, and they've had earthquake activity south and north of them. I still think we need to watch this plate boundary here uh, for some activity. And um, let's see here. Got deeper trends up here across the uh, area of the Kuro Kamachaka. This region definitely primed, I think, for a mega quake. It's been a little while since we've seen any large-scale movement there. Uh, a little portion of the trench zone here. It looks like uh, in the Izu or Mariana Trench, this section right here is showing absence of earthquake activity. Uh, there's our swarms from the past 30 days there in the Izu Trench. Really... Uh, just a little odd. I mean, a bunch of earthquakes, really no main quake, and quite a few large quakes, but there was no main quake that kind of stood out across this area. Pretty crazy. Still uh, uncertain as to where that's leading to. Uh, let's see what else we got here, folks. Uh, weather outlook here today. Not a whole lot in severe weather department. Just looks like some general thunderstorm activity out here across Texas, Oklahoma, and uh, portions of Arkansas out there as well. Maybe portions of uh, the beautiful state of Kansas. Nothing for tornado, wind, or hail threats, which is good news. As far as the assemble goes, this is the uh, weather outlook here for the uh, next couple weeks or so. We are looking at some warming temperatures out here across the West Coast. Uh, it's supposed to be about, well, it's already 71. It's supposed to be about 73 today here in Northern California. Watch this cool low pressure system scoot this high pressure off the east coast there uh, and replacing this region here with some very cold air halloween and into the first week of november you guys are going to be uh, a little on the chilly side out there below definitely below uh, average there for this time of year for those folks out west we do have a uh, continued pattern of high pressure i'm hoping that changes um anything after the fourth or fifth is probably uh, just a guesstimate here across this this uh, weather model. Uh, I say that because things can change um, down the line. I'm hoping that's not going to be the case. I don't want 70s and 80s into November. That's just not nice. It's winter time. It's supposed to be winter. All right, uh, all right, folks. I'm going to jump off here. Got quite a bit of uh, schoolwork and stuff I got to do before tomorrow, and we will catch you guys back out here. Uh, a little bit later on this evening, unless something major happens, take care and uh, have a safe day.